Well, hello, farming friends. Welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, Mr. Moose. And we continue our course play tutorials today. We are uh, working on bale wrapping, and today we are going to collect our bales from the field. Now, we've cut the grass, teetered it, windrowed it, baled it. Now we've we've gone through and we've wrapped all our round bales, and they're sitting in the field. They need to be collected and taken somewhere for storage so we are going to use the auto collector to collect those and we are going to take those to a storage point now to do this we are going to use two courses first of all we're going to use the course that we use to bail and wrap and all that other good stuff that's the original winrow course that course we're going to use to go around the field and collect the bills the second course we need is the course that we follow uh, once we have actually collected the bales and we need to go deposit that so to do that we need to record a little course that's going to take us around and drop these off so to do that we're just going to come right here to the corner of the field where all our courses have been starting from and I'm going to record a small little course to go back uh, over to where I'm storing my bales at and so at this point we're just going to drive around and we'll go over to where we're going to drop these off now look if you're watching this video and you haven't watched the tutorials on how to do the wind row and how to get to the point where you're collecting bales you need to go back and watch that because i'm not going to go through every step on how to create a course to go through the field so you just need to make sure you uh, go back and watch those videos there's all kinds of videos in my playlist on how to uh to do that so we've got a whole bunch of bales of hay and grass and straw stored over here at our dairy farm I'm gonna drop these off here as well I'm gonna hit the waypoint button right here and that's gonna tell my tractor when it gets here to go ahead and do the unloading process and then I can just pull off and continue my course to take me back into the field now the important thing to remember when you're doing auto bale uh, stacking like this is that when you start dropping your bales off at your waypoint there uh, you're gonna have to do a little work at that point you're gonna have to have a telehandler or something there to go ahead and finish off moving those out of the way because the next time this guy comes around to drop bales off if you haven't moved them they're gonna run into them okay so just keep that in mind all right so we've recorded our little course for our drop off point and we're just gonna call this field 40 uh, and we're going to call it round bale delivery. All right, so that is saved. So now we just want to get back into the whole process now and automate this so we can go collect the bales out of the field force. And what we'll do is I'll get rid of the course that we just had. We're going to be in field work mode. I'm going to load the course that we used uh, to do all of our work. And that is this 12.5 meter northeast to south one head row. That's the course that I originally recorded and did all of this work with. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to pull up our uh, delivery, this uh, field 40 round bell delivery. I'm going to add that course to the end so that the course play will know that once this trailer gets full, it needs to go and drive that next course to take them and deliver those to where we're storing. So with that done out of the way, it's just about time to drive. Now if you watch the video on how to wrap the bales, you know I did a tool offset of 2.5 meters. That meant it shifted the tractor off of the main course 2.5 meters to the left so that the tool drove straight underneath the course that we were following that meant that the bale because the baler went down that course when it finished doing the bale it dropped the bales off dead center in the middle of that course so we wanted the tool to drive the course now the auto baler or the auto wrapper it actually it picks it up from that course wraps it behind the tractor and then sets the bell off sort of off to the side of the tractor so that means when we go pick up not only do we have to set offset the tool 2.5 meters from the course we have to offset it another 2.5 meters from where the bale was actually set into the field so now our our tool offset 
is going to be five meters. And so that's what I've done here. I've set my tool offset five meters to the left. That means the tractor is going to drive five meters off the center of the course so that the tool is offset and we won't run over any of the bales while we're out here collecting them. That's confusing, isn't it? But it works. So trust me. And all these numbers, you, you sometimes have to massage them a little bit. Now, I've already run down this course and picked up a few. And I've actually already come down the second leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and we're going to get on this leg, which we've already collected. And I'm going to dry. I'm going to resume driving from here. So I'll hit drive course. It's going to unfold the tool. It's going to shift off the five meters to the left. So you just see the tractor's not underneath the blue line and the tool's not underneath the blue line. We're about five meters off of it. But when I make the turn, I'll be in position to pick up the rest of the little bells that are out here. And as you can see, the white one there is a little bit off of the course. All right, so it's going to make its turn. And get back into position. And it's going to go round up the bells now. Voila! just like that and one more it'll fill up the trailer and now course play is going to make note of where we just finished and it is going to drive the course to deliver these bales over to our storage unit And again, you can get rid of this course just by going into the settings part of course play and clicking off the course, uh, show the waypoints or don't show any waypoints, show the start stop. You can do all that. I just, uh, I'm leaving them on just so you can see the path that the, uh, the tractor is actually following. So now it's going to follow the course up here to the waypoint. Now, as soon as it hits the waypoint, it will trip and it will drop our bales off. And if I was doing this for real and I was actually worrying about getting all these bales moved, I would be sitting here with a telehandler ready to go and I would start moving these into storage. But I'm not really worried about it because I'm not going to run over them. I'm just doing this for your showcase. And so back to we go to the original course. Now the other thing you can do is you can uh, you can always keep an eye on this and manually move those over there if you wanted to. It's it's just up to you. About to run out of gas in this tractor. All right, guys. So it's going to come back out here to the field. It's going to take a turn and resume its operations. And it's going to run around and collect the rest of the bales. And that's how you can automate your bale collecting uh, with course play. Pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. Just remember that your tool offset has to be another 2.5 meters. Uh, to compensate for the fact that when the bale wrapper wraps the bale, it sets it off the back of the trailer, not behind the tool. Okay? Alright, I hope you found that useful. I hope you found this uh, whole tutorial session or series informative and maybe it helps you with your game a little bit. Uh, there are more tutorial videos on everything from... Uh, combine work to combine overloading uh, all of that is in the tutorials playlist so check that out and uh, again if you have any questions or comments just leave those in below and I'll be happy to answer those for you uh, thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I'm Mr. Moose it's been course play tutorials another video comes out tomorrow so come back and join me then until then stay safe have a great day and I'll see you in our next video bye bye Oh, 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 oh,
Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.